Today's video is sponsored by the Rexing V3 dash cam. Hey, it's Chris. Happy New Year. Now, I thought I'd start off this year with a video sort of looking back, and I actually wanna cover three apps that I recently rediscovered that I can't believe I've been living without for I don't know how long, maybe like a year or two or more. But in the last couple of weeks, for whatever reason, I started thinking about some old apps that maybe I should go back and give another chance. And these were the three apps that I was like, I need to check these out again. Also, I should mention that all of these apps work with both the iPhone and the Apple Watch. Let's start off with Do. Do you guys remember this app? I'm gonna be absolutely amazed if you've never heard of this before. It was a really big deal several years ago. And what it is, is an app that never lets you forget something. So it's basically a reminders app on steroids. I'm sure at some point I've covered it before. But what's cool about it is that if you ignore something that it tries to remind you, then it automatically snoozes. So right now I have Do's auto snooze function set to snooze every five minutes. So let's say I'm making some coffee or I have to remember to get that one really important shot for a video. If I just ignore the reminder, then every five minutes until I take an action, it's gonna say, hey, don't forget to do this. So whenever a do reminder does pop up, you don't have to just let it auto snooze. You can have several options that are customizable to remind you at a date in the future. So you could set it to maybe five minutes or 10 minutes or an hour or three hours or a day or three days. Now video after video after video, you guys have heard me say that I live in Apple reminders. Instead of a to-do list really or a calendar, I just make a reminder and almost always through Siri and almost always using my Apple watch. And so how I've set this up is that those Siri reminders that I make that go into Apple reminders automatically get sucked out and imported into Do. Now, why don't I use something like Things, which is a really high-powered, well-designed to-do app? Well, for me, it's just there's a little bit less friction to just go ahead and make a reminder with my voice and not have to worry about when am I gonna do this or what particular list am I gonna put it in. Now, I know some people like to get really granular with their organization and just organize every little thing down to the T, but that's really not me. For me, it's just about if I know I have to do something, make sure I get it down somewhere, somehow, as quickly and easily as possible, and then just get back to work. So just to give you an idea of how I'm using Do, here's a few things that I've got in there right now. I have a reminder to downgrade later, which is an Instagram scheduling program, and cancel my sliced apple. I've got another reminder to connect with Apple support. If you guys have been following my 16 inch MacBook Pro saga slash drama, then you know that it's great, but it has a big issue. It's been restarting all by itself. I've also got a reminder to make a Valentine's Day reservation. That's right, I planned this far ahead. And then I've got two recurring reminders. One is for the podcast, just to make sure I'm on top of that and kind of planning ahead, ready to have that go. We've been off for a couple of weeks, but bringing it back in full force. And the other thing is a weekly video planning session. And then if something new pops up, I'll just voice it into Siri and I'll know that it's going to get taken care of. Really for me, in terms of delegating tasks for my own self to get done later, this is about as stress-free as it gets low friction. Now the Do Watch app is one of the better watch apps that I've ever seen. And that's because it replicates all of the functionality that you get on the iPhone app. So if you're out and you're on LTE with your watch and you don't have your iPhone, you're gonna be fully functional when it comes to Do and your reminders. It's all nice and color coded. You got your orange, you got your blue, you got your purples for today, tomorrow, and coming up in the next seven days. And then if you swipe over, you'll also get some timers, which is a nice touch too. Now, do I use this as a widget? I would if I could, but they haven't made one available. And at the same time, am I using it with Siri shortcuts? Well, not really because there's nothing available in terms of actions in Siri shortcuts other than make a reminder in do or see upcoming reminders. So. I don't really use it with that either. The next app that I wanna talk about is one of my all-time favorites. I remember getting rid of it because I was going to start using a different app or a different technique to organize my information and it just never worked out as good. And then I, I really blew up this system that I had when I was using Drafts. This is the next app, Drafts. And I regret it because here's what it is. Drafts is the easiest, quickest, simplest, fastest way 
to remember text, to make a text note. And what I use it for is for non like note stuff, like notes that I don't really care about, temporary stuff that I'm gonna need once, maybe for making some content and then get rid of. So it's my way of remembering everything that I run into that's interesting without bogging down my normal notes app, which is Apple Notes. So in Apple Notes, I'll put something like some strategy for the new year, for the channel. That's a permanent note, it's something that I'm going to reference a lot and format really nicely, and so that's gonna live in Apple Notes. What I use drafts for though, is maybe when I run into a really awesome app or uh, an accessory or a technique that I wanna remember as a tip, and then I put it into drafts and give it a tag or two, and I just go in and look at any given tag and find a whole video's worth of really awesome items. I do wanna pause real quick and just remind you to check out Daily Tech's podcast. It's the Daily Tech After Party. I'll link it up down below. It's really great, I think. People are, seem to be enjoying it. It's getting good ratings on uh, all the different apps, so check it out. Also, check out our Clips channel. There's all kinds of interesting content there that I don't want you to miss as well. I'll have that linked up too. Now you could use this as your actual notes app. Nothing wrong with that. Although it's not really meant to be something as robust as let's say Bear. The main thing that Drafts has going for it is that it's fast. Not just fast, really fast, super fast. So it doesn't get in your way. Now while Drafts can't do some things that other notes apps can, it is actually really powerful in terms of different filters and automations that you can enable within it. So I can imagine somebody like Vitici over at Mac Stories really pushing this to its limit. That's not really how I'm using it. I'm just using it as a very simple, easy way to store stuff that I don't wanna forget. Now the Watch App version of Drafts is absolutely spectacular. In fact, I've covered it before in several different Watch App videos because it's one of my go-tos. But when you load it up, it's got a microphone, it's got a button for your inbox, and then it's got an edit button. There's a couple different Drafts widgets that you can use on your iPhone, and you can create a workspace if you want to for certain tasks. I don't do any of that. I just use the basic widget, which lets me either tap to create a text note that I type out, or you can voice. There's a microphone there too, if you'd rather voice. And I gotta say, lately I've been voicing more and more things because it's so much faster for me. Now you can really get creative with Siri shortcuts and drafts. I mean, super in depth. Here's just a small list of different actions that you can take in shortcuts. You can run a drafts action. You can get contents of a certain draft. You can add to a draft, open a draft, search drafts. Long story short, this is an app that's great for just simple beginners. And this is an app that's really great for ultra power users who are gonna squeeze every last drop out of the functionality. The last app that I wanna talk about today is one that's had a profound impact on my life, whether it's my health, or just my productivity, my work life. I've used it for different things over the years, but it's called Streaks and it's a habit tracker or a habit reminder app. And by this point, you might be realizing there's sort of a theme with these three apps. They all help me remember to do things. And it's true, I've outsourced a lot of my brain to my phone, to my technology, but it's a system that works well for me. I know everybody's wired up a little bit different. So you may or may not be familiar with this concept that Jerry Seinfeld spouted out in some interview a long time ago that he thinks is really silly that people are even paying attention to, but someone asked him how he did stuff and continued to be motivated. And he said he tried not to break a chain. So he would do something once, put an X on his calendar. The next day, he'd put an X too if he did it until maybe a week later, he had five or seven Xs. And then by the eighth day or the next day, he didn't wanna break that chain and start all the way over. So it's just like a simple motivational tool that several different apps have tried to adapt and help you be better about remembering to do things that are important in your life. So I've got six things that I'm tracking right now. And honestly, this changes from time to time as I install and delete and reuse this app or maybe I accomplish something I want to and I create some new tasks and new habits that I wanna remember. But right now I've got way so I wanna weigh every day because that's important to see if I've gone up or down, like that's motivational. Uh, treadmill, 
weights. Uh, I've got a fast icon in here. And so what that is, is I do some intermittent fasting from time to time. Smoothie, try to have a good healthy smoothie in the mornings, you should too. And 64 ounces of water. So I've got these set up for different things. For treadmill, I wanna do that a certain amount of times per week. For the water, that's every day. So you can go in and you can create a new habit, you can assign it an icon. So there's a ton of icons to choose from, which is really cool. It's a nice visual interface. And then you can either turn on reminders or not, notifications, and you can do custom reminders and notifications, or you can just have automatic ones. And then the fun part comes when you actually do something and you get to mark it off and you just hold down on that icon and the circle fills in and it, you get some nice feedback and it just feels like you accomplished something. It's nice. The other thing that I really like about it is that you get stats per habit. So if you really wanna dig into the data and you're wondering when are you the most productive and on top of things or when do you tend to miss your habits? Like what gets you off track? then that's really easy to see. And you can see your progress over time and you can see, oh yeah, that's when the holidays hit and I got off a little bit. Or wow, on Monday mornings, I'm really doing my thing. It's a, just a really great way to better understand yourself and be more motivated. Now the Watch app is pretty good. It's very usable, but at the same time, it seems a little bit awkward. Like I've got six icons on there and it's put them all sort of in two columns and it doesn't really take up the full watch screen in, in as efficient manner as it could. Still though, it definitely lets you track your habits and that's the main thing that matters and it still looks good. So just same thing as on the iPhone, tap into a circle, hold it down and it marks it off. This is one that I've also got set up as a widget as well. And here the widget looks a lot better because it's just one row of all my six icons. And again, it makes it really easy to access. Now, just to make things even more convenient, you can set this up with Siri shortcuts so that you can complete or miss a task just with your voice. Now, why do I use streaks over productive or habit or done, which are all very highly rated apps in the app store, alternatives worth checking out, honestly. And while streaks isn't perfect, it does let me customize enough things that it just fits into my life better. We just mesh better together, this app and I and my habits. And honestly, just seeing the stats and having that data is just like an extra punch in the arm, like get motivated. Today's video is sponsored by the Rexing V3 dual camera front and inside cabin, infrared vision, full HD 1080p Wi-Fi dash cam. What's better than a dash cam? Well, a dash cam with two cameras that works with an easy to use app wirelessly. The Rexing V3 lets you keep an eye on the outside and inside of your vehicle with full HD, 170 degree views and infrared vision. If you're worried about your car being damaged while parked, the supercapacitor has you covered since it detects vibrations and starts recording even when you're away. Finally, you'll also enjoy the ADAS or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, which can provide a real-time lane departure warning. If you're looking for a new dash cam, then check out the Rexing V3 using the link in the description. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. It was a little bit different, kind of a blast from the past, but oftentimes I get feedback from people saying, thanks for reminding me about this thing. I knew about it, but I forgot about it. So thanks for the reminder. Hopefully that was what this was. And if for some reason you never ran into any of these apps, then hopefully it was just beneficial for the first time. Now I'm gonna do things a little bit different for the next several videos, just kind of as an experiment. Instead of having the Q&A that would normally go here attached to this video, I'm gonna link it up right here and it's gonna live on the Clips channel. So if you wanna continue this discussion about productivity for your Apple Watch and for your iPhone and for great apps that can make you a better worker and person, then definitely check that out. And otherwise, you can follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, wherever. We're at Daily Tech, spelled daily, T-E-K-K. -K, and I'll catch you guys in the next video or the Q&A later.